Hey, Sam, it's Dave. Kenny, how you doing? I'm doing real well. How are you? Good, good. Hey, I just wanted to verify that we're still good to um, do our little thing that we agreed upon. You're actually talking in front of um, everybody at DEF CON right now. Are you cool with that? Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Woo! Listen, we're going to try to keep the company in mind as much as possible. Um, I'm going to expect the audience to be very tame and not start tweeting about the company unless, uh, in fact, if they um, accidentally see their name on the phone or something like that. Is that okay? Is that good with everybody? That's, that's perfect. All right. All right, just a couple questions real quick. And, and again, we're not going to be using any of this for our attack. We just want to see what type of technologies you have in place, okay? So first of all, um, are you using some sort of next-gen firewall that's one of the top providers out there? Yes, all right, um, are you using any type of whitelisting technology? Yes, we are. Do you do egress filtering? Yes. All right, and then um, as far as anything else, um, do you have any type of like virtualization sandboxing technology at your SMTP? This is John, can I help you? Yeah, James. This is James. Hello, James. Hello? James, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, great, great. This is Tom Bodet over with the HR department, specifically benefits. How, how's it going today? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. I'm talking to them. I'm sorry, I'm having issues with my phone. Uh, is this James? Oh, great, great, great. This is uh, Tom Bodet. I'm over with uh, HR. Uh, I work specifically in benefits. And uh, I sent you a, we sent you over a form about a week ago on, on our benefits privacy form. Did you actually receive it? Uh, I don't remember seeing it. You don't? Well, unfortunately, I'm calling several people. You're, you're the eighth person I'm talking to today. We must have had an issue getting them out. And we have to send you this form because legal is requiring that you accept a new policy. It's part of a legal requirement to continue receiving benefits. So it's kind of important, and we, we need to get this done today. It's Friday. And um, do you have do you have a moment? Do you have, do you have a fax machine, or do you have a or do you have a computer handy? Or, or better yet, do you, are you near your PC? Uh, I'm at my computer. You have a, can you uh, do you have a moment? Sure. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, if you could, uh, if you could open up a browser, like do you have it, use Internet Explorer or Firefox. Yeah, we have a uh, Internet Explorer. Okay. If you can go ahead and open it up for me. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to. I'm just going to have you accept the the new policy uh, over your computer, so you don't have to go ahead and fax it to us. It makes it easier and quick, so uh, you don't have to fill out a form. Sound good. Okay, tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, if you can go to www.health.benefits. Yeah. And this is all one word, no spaces. Portal.com. Okay. So that's www.healthbenefitsportal.com. And tell me when you get there. Health. Benefitsportal.com. Correct. And you should, when you get there, you should like see a pop up. When the, when the site loads, you should see a pop up come up. Yeah. Pop up, I just click Repeat that? I thought a pop up, I just click OK. Yeah, click OK, that's right. Okay, now go. Okay. Now, now since you clicked OK on the pop up, um, we went ahead and uh, just automatically accepted the, the policy. So if you receive that, if you find that email or you find that in spam that we sent you earlier, just go ahead and ignore it because everything is fine. Oh, no, that's it? Well, unfortunately I have to call six more people that uh, didn't fill out the form either, so, um, yeah, it's kind of my Friday work. All right. All right, well, um, have a great weekend and, uh, and uh, talk to you soon. All right, take care.
<laughs> oh snap. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Come on. Blow. Oh my nerves are like holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just stop there? <laughs> might be wondering why I got multiple shells. Now, the way that this attack works um, is, um, I love that Windows is end of life XP. Like, that is the best thing that could have ever happened to us since, like, ever. Because with Windows Vista and above, we get a thing called PowerShell, right? <laughs> and PowerShell's whitelisted, right? So what we can do with PowerShell is Matthew Graber came out with an awesome attack a while back. Um, that allows you to basically inject a shellcode straight into memory, all right, through PowerShell natively. Now, I did a talk, a talk a couple of years 